Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to make a chart for the elements of art. I will be dividing my paper into seven different compartments. Uh, I'm going to have three at the top, three at the bottom, and a long skinny one in the middle. You can do this any way you want as long as you have seven different uh, spaces mapped out on your paper. I'm doing it this way because it works really well on my small sketchbook. I'm labeling it elements of art. And I'm going to label each box. So we have line, we have shape, we have color and value, form, texture, and space. So a form is a uh, a representation of a 3D object on a paper. It shows you that a pyramid is a triangle but in a 3D shape. A cube versus a square. So anything that looks sort of three-dimensional is a shape, is a form, sorry, versus a shape which looks flat. You can make up your own or you can use geometric shapes. Now texture is something uh, that we feel every day when we touch our clothing, when we touch dishes and plates and our animals. It's a, something we feel. In art, it's visual texture, something we can see for the most part, unless it's a sculpture which we can feel and see. So this is just something that will help make the texture of knots in wood or waves in an ocean or wind in the sky, or sand on the beach versus uh, the pavement. It's how you use mark making and create texture that gives more visual information. It makes things look more interesting. A solid square rectangle doesn't really look like grass at the bottom of a paper, but when you add little marks that go up and down, then it can look more like grass. So texture is an important aspect of your art. Next we have space and I'm using a pencil to just really lightly um, plot out in a simple room. And you can't see that really well because I'm going very lightly because I don't want it to show. Uh, you, it's just really light and it's a table, a chair in a room with a window. I'm going to go over that with markers. Okay, so this is how I'm dividing my room. The window the angle of the window matches the angle of the side of the wall and how it meets the floor. And it takes a little while to practice drawing something like that, but you guys will do it. And these are different lines. We've been over them zigzag and curvy and loopy and dashes. And here's my shapes, stars and circles. Now for color, oh, I forgot something on my chair. Now for color, I'm going to just use different colors. And and color is just the actual pigment or you. And color is really important in pictures. If you want to show that it's a warm summer night, then you might have a clear blue sky with stars. If it's a wintry cold night, it might be more gray and you might actually see the snow falling. Um, if it's a happy picture, it's going to be maybe in bright pinks and red and oranges. So color is important. And here I'm doing value. And I'm going to go from light to dark. And then I'm going to go back up to light. And this is really sped up. I just wanted you to see uh, the way that looks all together. And me cleaning up to make my space nice and neat. I hope you really enjoy these videos. If you do, let me know. Um, like and subscribe and I'll keep making more of them. Thanks.